What is up guys? Thank you for clicking on the video. I know that there's millions of other options of things you could be doing right now, so it is my responsibility to you all to make this worth your time. So hopefully I add some type of value throughout this video. And if you get to the end and nothing was value added and you're like, this is terrible, you need to let me know because I need to change something. But anyway, just rolling out a little bit before I start my workout and uh, I'm a little bit pressed on time. I got a lot of stuff to do today. so. I don't really like being in a time crunch necessarily for anything, but sometimes when I'm working out, I can use it to my advantage because I up the intensity. I know that there's certain things I have to get through and I only have a short period of time to do it. And sometimes it actually helps. You know when you have like nothing to do and you just have too much time to be in the gym? Sometimes you just kind of lose your focus and you notice that you're not really getting that good of a workout. At least that's something that I've experienced. So some of you actually tried out these paused above parallel squats and can vouch for how difficult they are, but definitely a great developer for getting out of that sticking point in my opinion. So last time when I started the program, I was only using 185, now I'm using 245. So made some really good progression here, but I almost underestimated how difficult this was going to be. So I have two sets and then you guys know how it goes. We're gonna do an AMRAP set before we move on to some benching. <laughs> One more. So we have increased the volume of pressing in terms of number of sets, but we're lowering the reps here. So I'm only doing four rep sets, which is actually kind of nice. It doesn't feel like as much endurance. And my chest is extremely tight from yesterday's Spoto pressing. So 170 pounds here, nothing too crazy. But like I said, I'm a little bit fatigued already. And with the increased volume, I'm not going to need to overtax myself in terms of RPE or in terms of intensity. So it's all calculated in. You kind of just have to trust the process and trust the person that you're getting the information from. Garrett is obviously a very smart guy. If you look at his lifts, I think they speak for themselves. So I'm going to knock this out. We got three sets. AMRAP. Bada boom. <laughs> I'm glad that is over with. My chest and my triceps are completely fried, but I still have a little bit more to do. I kind of just got to keep pressing on here. You get it? You get it? Press. So punny. We're done here. So it's almost noon right now, about noon o'clock. I'm gonna have this banana. I'm not very hungry at all. One of the things that I love about BCAAs is it really suppresses my appetite and I don't feel guilty about not eating right after my workout because it is helping in recovery and I can push food off until I'm ready. So that is pretty great. Now hopefully you guys can tell that I love making YouTube videos. I have so much fun doing it. But the thing I like the least about YouTube is thumbnail pictures. I despise getting to the end of the project and having to make a thumbnail picture. It is just not fun. And a lot of people will brag like, you know, I never use Photoshop for anything. Well, more power to you, my friends. All my thumbnail pictures are made in Photoshop. I don't know how else you make them unless you're just throwing some picture on there. But I try to make them as high quality as possible. And when I merge pictures and add text, all that, I don't know how else to do it. But that is my method. Don't have any fun with it at all, but it is so important. The thumbnail and the title of these videos are extremely important for people to watch. And when you put so much time and energy into a video, you really want as many people to watch as possible. So the reason I really don't like this is because it takes time out of, it takes away time where I could be editing or making other videos. But anyway, we've gone on long enough about this. I gotta finish up with a few thumbnails. I'll load them to the videos that they're associated with and I can finally move on to something else. So it's about 1.30 right now. I just got back from the grocery, didn't really pick up anything too exciting, just some staples, some stuff that I needed to re-up on and also some stuff that was on sale, of course. So now I'm gonna have my first, I guess, real meal, which isn't really a real meal at all. It's just an omelet and that's probably gonna be the majority of the food until later on tonight. So you know what that means. But until then, I'm gonna do some more stuff around here, gotta make a few more stops, and then we'll finally get to some more food. All right.
Let's go buy some things. I have not eaten anything else yet, so I'm gonna bring this water with me. The first place I gotta stop is Goodwill. I got bags and bags in my car that I need to donate. I'm trying to essentially redo my entire wardrobe very slowly, obviously. So got rid of some old stuff. Newer stuff is coming in at a much slower pace, which is perfectly fine. But just trying to find sales here and there when I can. So hopefully they're open. It is Sunday. I'm hoping that they're open till at least six. I guess we'll find out. Boom, mission successful. Quite possibly one of the best songs of all time. So do you know the ultimate testament of people wanting things that they can't have? Craving Chick-fil-A on Sunday. And I know I'm not the only one. I've heard a lot of people say, I want a Chick-fil-A, but it's Sunday. And of course they're closed on Sunday, which is what I just experienced. I passed out, I was like, oh, I'm gonna get shit. No, I'm not. And that just goes to show that we just want things we can't have. I never even go to Chick-fil-A. Well, sometimes. Chick-fil-A has the best breakfast ever. But anyway, it is a beautiful December and I am not complaining at all. I don't wanna jinx it, but it's like 50 degrees right now. It's beautiful, but Christmas is right around the corner. So I gotta finish up some Christmas shopping. And usually I do everything online. I've ordered all my gifts through Amazon, but there's always those few gifts you just have to go to the store for, unfortunately, so I might as well knock it out. It's not for me. Oh my gosh, way too many people. I'm going back to the internet. Talking to somebody the other day and I was asking them about vlogging. Like, what is it? Why do people like to watch other people vlog? Like, why do you want to see me go inside a store and buy Christmas presents? Maybe you don't. Maybe you already turned off the video, but it seems like when I put up these, what I would consider a vlog, they do extremely well, better than my other videos. And so they were telling me that they like to see what people do that are into the same hobbies as they are. So fitness, for instance, they like to see fitness people do other things other than fitness because they feel like they're not alone. And I guess that makes sense. I can relate. Yeah, I mean, I watch some channels that vlog, but for the most part, I would say my favorite channels are stuff that are more fitness related. But unless you're funny, that is the exception to the rule. Like Travi Williams, I could watch him vlog. Every vlog of his is the exact same, but they're all hilarious. But anyway, enough talking. One more stop, then it's food time. We keep that white girl, Christina Aguilera. My jury too loud, homeboy, I can't hear ya. Merry Christmas to me. Why do white girls love this store so much? And by white girl, I mean me. And, and all you gotta, gotta do is ask Lindsay Lohan. And so I don't know if these are all around, but Milano's one of the best restaurants in the entire world. Go there on a weekly basis. Actually, I lied. You know you always have those people you have to buy for, but you don't necessarily want to buy for them? Well, here's the place you should go. So if I'm buying you stuff from here, you might want to reconsider our friendship. I'm just kidding. I buy myself stuff here, but not for other people, usually. Unless I don't like them. Okay, let's go home. Actually, one more stop. Hi, how are you? So I don't think you're going to be surprised to hear that I'm not tracking macros today. Some people would call this a cheat day. I call this a human day. You don't have to track every gram of food every single day of your life. And if you want to eat some foods that don't necessarily always fit within your diet, that is okay, you'll be fine. Now, I do not recommend fast food, but you guys, you don't even know what I got. Maybe I got a salad. Yeah, salad. So one thing you might not know is the vanilla cone from McDonald's is actually extremely macro friendly. It's low fat ice cream and it is delicious. I'm not gonna sit here and eat this on camera because that is weird. And if you wanna see that, I question your intentions of watching this. Like I said, fast food, probably not your best food selection. I'm personally not convinced it's even food, but I have not had a Big Mac in probably well over a year now. And I was just craving it, to be honest. So I will be enjoying this, but I'm not going to be thinking what it's actually made of. I mean, when you even look at these patties, like we're not gonna think about it. We're just gonna enjoy. It is everything that I remember and more. So sushi and McDonald's, an interesting combination. You guys have seen Stranger Things on this channel. So I kind of started digging away at this and I ended up getting a Philly roll, which I thought would be good. And I do not like it at all. It has cream cheese in there. I'm probably not going to eat it. I ate a few 
And for me not to eat something, it's gotta be pretty bad. So I'm just not a fan of that. But spicy tuna, one of my favorite sushi rolls ever. And that's strange because I do not like tuna. The big thing here is you can't smell the tuna. That's a big thing. I don't know that I've actually eaten a can of tuna, but I've smelled it. And I can tell you by based off of that, I don't like it. So I know I still gotta get a fair amount of calories in for the day, which is never a problem, but I just don't feel like cooking that much. So I'm just gonna throw something together really quick. Not exactly sure yet. I'm thinking maybe like a quesadilla, but I don't really have uh, like all this stuff. Actually, you know we're gonna improvise anyway. I really think this channel shows you that you really don't ever need like the traditional ingredients to make something. Just get creative and it always turns out well. Well, not always, but uh, this is delicious. I feel like we're just going from one food to the next here, but I gotta get to bed. So, need a little bit more protein and fiber. I'm going to have a peanut butter, banana, and quest sandwich. You guys might have seen this on the channel before, but these are delicious. And then I'm going to have some of this Captain Crunch donut cereal. And instead of milk, we're gonna do one scoop of this PES Snickerdoodle protein powder. And you guys have got to try this combination out. As always, you can get 30% off if you use Travis at PEScience.com, but it just tastes so delicious. Oh, I'm spilling just for you guys, and I just cleaned my kitchen. But the peanut butter, uh, the peanut butter cup tastes delicious on Reese cups. But I'm telling you, the Snickerdoodle and this donut cereal, amazing. I don't want your apple pie, no. I don't want your apple pie, mama. I don't want your apple pie, no. So you know I couldn't go to McDonald's and only get one thing? I don't know why, but I love these little apple pies. I always have, ever since I was a kid. If you've never had them, would highly recommend you try them out. I'm guessing the macros are terrible on these, but that's alright. Alright guys, we have eaten enough food for the day. I'm going to cut the video off here. Thank you for sticking with me this whole time if you made it to this point. I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. That really does mean a lot to me. You could have been doing anything. Anything in the world. You could have been out running a marathon for all I know, but you chose to watch this video for 10 or so minutes, hopefully. That's pretty awesome. Thank you, guys. And please give the video a like if you did enjoy it. That really helps me out a lot. I'll talk to you next time. I need my own pepper, please, my own legacy, my own recipe. This one helps me. It helps me to take the kill. You know we keep that white girl. Christina, I got